Yo guys, what is going on? I'm here to bring you guys some showdown live. It has been an ancient long time since I've actually dug up into this and brought it out from the grave. So I, th I figured, you know, I haven't laddered in a long ass time. I just haven't touched showdown in a long time. Literally the last showdown video I made was the last time I touched showdown. And it's honestly a little sad because I used to ladder on showdown every time. Like in my spare time when I was on calls and everything. Uh, I would just ladder, you know, for the fun of it, you know, just to hone my skills. But I have not been doing that lately, and I feel as if the mistakes I make in Wi-Fi battles sometimes are dumb because I haven't laddered in a long time. So I figure, why not? Why not, you know, progress my skills a little more? Because you can never be too good. So why not, you know, make myself a little bit, make myself a little better than I am, and get with this. So. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to destroy 400 likes on it. That'll be the like goal for this. Make sure to destroy 400 likes. It does where the channel is here itself. And uh, let me know, you guys, if you are hyped for uh, or just enjoying Showdown bag and being back onto the content. Showdown content being reduced again. What am I saying reduced? What? Showdown content being produced again onto the channel. Let me know if you guys are hyped for that because I really would like to know. I just, because I don't want to do stuff that you guys would not be nuts about, you know? So let me know. If you are actually going to enjoy it or not that actually would make my day that would make my day so let me know if you are enjoying it or not I'm oh gonna tell this guy good luck have fun I was gonna do scarf God at 1d but someone took the name so I'm not really surprised because you know when you make something a thing on YouTube people will take the name so I just you know decided to register everything else that I had so that no one else could take the names quickly so I did that so I'm good I'm good I'm good uh, he's got a pretty decent team. We're on the NU because you know this Mike again I have if I haven't told you guys I, I, I went by my hard drive about a month ago, and I haven't touched it on since so I have no teams But this one NU team so I, I made this team uh, like right as beta came out. So Here it is <laughs> Here it is. It's decent. It's not too bad to be honest. I mean dark weakness, but resistant That's it and intimidate. That's really it. So Let's lead off with Electivire because I'm Scarfed, like in Volt Switch, as he's going to lead off with a Pur Ugly. Knowing this, he could just knock off, predicting my Dusk Noir. And I'd rather that not happen. And he does have a Contrary guy, so why would I need my Quillfish around much? I am going to come with this Intimidated as, uh, what in the goddamn... Oh, Lord, he's Defiant. Oh, he's Defiant. That sucks a lot. So I wanted to get up a bunch of my hazards, and I can't do that. Hmm. I'm gonna set up spikes. That's all that I can really do. Is set up one layer of spikes. I wanted to do more, but I guess I can't. I probably should have paralyzed it if anything. But no, nope, that's not gonna happen. As he goes for sucker punch, I don't know why I'm able to paralyze it now. I don't know why he did that. He has to now like rely on going for a return. I don't know why even for sucker punch. There was absolutely no reason why you should go for sucker punch. There was no reason why. I'm a little confused, TBH. Uh, since spikes are up, I can give research out of the character and set up a swords dance. As uh, hopefully it doesn't knock off, because that could be a problem. It doesn't go for the U-turn. Brings me straight down to my sash. Uh, that's fine, because I can sucker punch just about everything. So I'm really not too worried. I'm really not. The only thing that kind of fears me is not the Lilligant. The freaking, uh, not the Lilligant. The, what's it called? This, this thing with a bunch of arms. What is this thing even called? Barbarical. All right. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drain punch. He's gonna quiver, cause it's way too goddamn obvious that sucker punch. He's not gonna see part of me. Grass type actually ends up going for the pedal dance. So I guess I, uh, as you can see, I made a pretty obvious mistake. So that's why we're on here. He goes for the pedal dance. I guess I should really should have put into, put into. Uh, I'm sap zipper too. So if anything, I should have gone on to this thing. Oh well. Oh well. We'll learn from our mistakes. I'm not the best at NU. So, I'm really not the best at NU. NU is not one of my greatest tiers. Even though I do play a bunch of low tiers, uh, not this meta NU is not my best. Because both these guys you're looking at now used to be RU. So, last gen NU, I was pretty good. But this gen NU, I'm not. So, what's up? Let's go for a... I want to go for a head charge. Let's go for that. As I am Sap Sipper, he just gave me an attack boost. So, I guess he didn't know that Boofalant runs Sap Sipper, which is fine. I want you guys to know though, please don't be aggressive, you know, when it comes to making mistakes because NU is not really my home, my tier, so if I do make a mistake and I'm not aware of what that thing is, helpful comments are always appreciated rather than negative comments saying, oh my god, you're so dumb for not knowing that. I'm sorry that I don't play this tier in this meta. So, 
This is a thing, and I want to get out of here and go out to Dust Noir. It's a problem. It is a problem indeed. He's going to go for the Focus Blast, so me going out to the Dust Noir was actually great, because they typically run Choice Scarf. So that's actually a really good thing to do. I'm going to will o -Wisp because I think he's going to go to the Yuxi. He's going to go to like a Malamar and Stark, <laughs> and it's able to land. Oh my god, that was yum. That was a good play. I made a good play. Not bad. I'm proud of myself there. I'm actually proud of myself there. If he's going to go for the Night Slash, I'm going to EQ. Why the hell not? As I could Shadow Sneak as well. I do pack the Paint Split. I'd rather Shadow Sneak because it probably does more damage. It stabs. So he's going to Night Slash again. I have Lefty, so I'm really not too worried. He doesn't have any normal types besides that Perugly, but it's really... Perugly's actually not bad. I heard this meta. Like, surprisingly enough, I actually heard that it was not that bad. So if anything, I hope it gets a Mega. It's actually one of my favorite cat Pokemon after Persian. Literally after Persian. So, I like it. I like it a lot. As he doesn't go out into the... I guess he has the absolutely no reason, you know, to... He's, he's I have spikes up and he's burned. This thing is pointless as fuck now. So I guess he has no reason to go out to the Perugly. But I do have my... Who did I have to set up rocks? I think my Mesprit actually sets up rocks, so... I think it actually does. I'm not too sure on that. I think it may or may not. All I know is I need the Dust Noir around for the tie the tie flow, so that actually could be pretty. I could be pretty bad as no one on my team has rocks, so I guess I kind of have to rely on spikes. Uh, this team's not the greatest. I'll probably change it up next time I do a shot on live on this. But let's 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 um. Ooh, what can we do here? Shadow Sneak should be doing good damage to tie flow, and then I should be able to li maybe I could live an eruption because I'm but max HP max special defense. And the special defense is 405, so I'm going to Shadow Sneak as it doesn't do anything. As he's going to Fire Blast over the Eruption, which is the better play, TBH. As I can come on to this, let's see who's the faster one. Electivire versus Typhlosion. Uh, 95, 100. If he's timid, he outspeeds me. If he's not, I outspeed him. I'm going to Wild Charge. As I do outspeed him, which is great. That is great. Big throw out of the way. I actually could win literally with just this Electivire. And I'm really glad that they brought down Electivire back down into NU. He's a lot better in NU. He actually deserves to be in NU. I uh, just drank some water. Things probably gonna go for the fake out. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the Bufalant. Maybe go with the knockoff. As he's paralyzed. So that's unfortunate for him. As uh I'm gonna easily go for the head charge. I'm choice banded. So I don't even think the Yuxi wants to take it. Which it clearly does not want to take it. No, you don't want to take this. You ain't about this take life, bruh. He's probably going to yawn, but he heal bells instead. Uh, I guess because uh, I, I was first, I was thinking, wait, why? The Malamar is dead. But now, uh, you know, it's a, this thing is a thing. It's definitely a thing. So I'm really not too worried because I have a Mesprit. I may as well just sack off this guy. He actually goes to the return. I really don't know why. Had he have combined fake out return, I probably would have died. Cause look at that much damage that I live by. I probably would have died. I have no idea why he did that. As he's gonna shell smash recklessly. Uh, that actually may not even be reckless. I'm choice ban head charge. He resists. He should be able to take it. As uh, yep. So actually, that was a very good play that he made. I'm gonna go out to my Mesprit. I don't know if I do anything or not, but let's energy ball. See if we somehow outspeed. For the love of glory, no. But I'm able to live the razor shell. As that is great, I'm able to take out that Barbarical. So that was a great battle. GG, that was a goddamn good battle. That was a really good battle, I like that battle. Let's pick up another match right now. Let's pick up another one. Alright, we got another one. She's got cats. Lots and lots of cats. Lots and lots of cats. A uh, very cat-ish team. Cats everywhere. Cats! Alright, I want to lead off. Uh, fake out, fake out, fake out. Uh, Sticky Web, I'm just literally, I'm not, because I don't know anything about this meta's NU, I'm, I've played a lot of lower tiered tiers, like RU's my best tier, and I've played a lot of bunch, I've played a lot of low tiers to know at least what low tier Pokemon do, so that's why I just named off a bunch of that shit. Otherwise, I, he may be running it differently, maybe that could be a Specs, Luxray, Lux that may be a thing this meta, I don't know, maybe that could be Choice Bandit, Lee Bandy, I don't know, could be a Scarfed Malamar, I don't know, fuck. Let's lead off with you, because why not? As he does lead off with this, so just from that, Sticky Web's out the wazoo, TBH. I don't have anything to get rid of it as well. I don't have anything to get rid of Hazards, only one guy to put up Hazards. The team's not the best. If I could burn you, that'd be great, because I don't want, uh... No, it's gonna be, it's gonna, they're gonna stay up. 
they're unfortunately gonna stay up. Uh, thankfully for the Levinese gone, so Levinese actually power people underestimated a lot. His typing isn't the greatest, it's like what, bug grass? Yeah, it's not the greatest, but Levinese actually very powerful. I know an early 5th gen to run a chlorophyll Levinese with swords in the answer. It was really, really good. It was really good. But it was able to be taken out. This person is easily gonna go for the fake out. I'm not about that fake out life, TBH. Uh, you don't get defiant, so I gotta watch out for that. I gotta watch out for that. I gotta tell my opponent good luck, have fun. I've been doing that lately. So, actually, by lately, I mean now, because I haven't been on showdown until like today. So I actually can go for the Waterfall. I mean, not the Waterfall, the Thunder Wave, but he has a Luxray. So I really can't do that. I'm actually going to expect him to go out into that Luxray. Um, that's actually really unfortunate because I actually have to sack off this guy super quick. I just got two Defiant Aegis, so I may as well. So I'm going to go for the uh, Spikes. I was going to actually double switch and go out into my Electivire, uh, predicting this guy and just go for the Earthquake. But um, I probably got intimidated. And then, you know, he would have lived it. Maybe even outspeeding me. I don't know. Um, but I know that I can definitely take a uh, Wild Charge into the Choice Bandit, I think. I may be underestimating Luxray's power. What's Luxray's attack style? Let's check. I see, actually ends up going for the superpower. I don't really know why. I really don't know why. He may have predicted my... Uh, the only thing that he actually legitimately could have predicted was the, um, the freaking Cacturn. But again, Cacturn is really, really, really frail. Let's look at it right now. Cacturn. Look at that! 60 in both stats. You could have easily 2 KO'd me with the Wild Charge, which is a base 120. Electric move, is it not? It's 100. 90. Okay. I thought it was like 100 this entire time. It's 90. Come from someone who's got base 120. Look at that! So, um, I guess he just made a dumb mistake. Well, I won that match, so let's look for another one. Uh, we are sitting at about 11 minutes. Alright, so it's probably gonna be my last match. I'm gonna try and keep these lower than 15 minutes. This guy's got an interesting team, actually. I don't know what he could really run. I know you get rocks. I know you get sticky webs. You could be shell smash. You could be coil. You could be sleep powder, quiver sash. And you're just a defensive wall. So he could be running these defensive guys, but with intimidate to support. But fighting weakness at the wazoo, but three resistances. So I, I guess it works. Three week to fighting, three resistances. I mean, it's balanced as fuck, but shit. All right, so I don't want to actually get bopped by this Aridos again. Stick up teams are really scary. As um, I actually could stay in, but I'm not Vital Spirit. So had I been Vital Spirit, I probably wouldn't be able to stay in. I'm gonna Volt Switch though. I don't think he's actually gonna stay in. I really don't think that he's gonna stay in. I feel like the Flamethrower is a little bit too obvi as well. And out of the Fire Punch, just the Fire Move at this point is a little obvi. So, I'd rather just go for the Volt Switch. He could easily come out into the Adino. I don't think he really has the right reason to set up at this point. Because I could easily go out into my Cacturing on the Sleep Powder right here this turn. As he does that, and then I could Sucker Punch you when you Bug Buzz me, and I could knock you out and, you know, keep my Sash. So, we're going to see what he wants to do. I guess he's going to take his time, and I guess he's mad. Because <laughs> his name is Maddie Mad. I guess he's mad. We're gonna wait on my opponent though. I don't really know what he wants to do. And if you hear bottle cracks, like, it's my water bottle, because, you know, when niggas narrate, niggas narrate. Alright. So we're just gonna wait on my opponent here, TBH. As I guess he's taking his time. Um. I don't. I don't know what to say. Uh. Good luck. Have fun. I already said that. What more do I need to say? Okay, he does get out of here, I bet. Now I can actually take out this very big threat. I can take out a very big threat right now. Ah, looking good. I don't even care at this point if he does go for the Sucker Punch. Because it's not Stab, it won't even bring me down to half, and... I may be underestimating the power of Ariados. 90 attack. With Sucker Punch, that actually could be... That actually sounds kind of scary. With Life Orb too. He's actually going to go out the course though, though. Alright, Side Shock does a... Bleh. You ever watch like Jackie Chan Adventures and Toru the fat guy? He always makes that noise. Bleh! All right, bet. I'm gonna go for the energy ball. Maybe he's trying to beat the energy ball. I don't know. But Psyshock does. If Psyshock does that much damage, why you know reveal about my other move slot? I'm not gonna do that. I could have easily calm minded on his ass then. Maybe he predicted calm mind and he you know sucker punch evades uh, that. So maybe he may have predicted that. I don't really know. I'm gonna go my opponent though. I'm gonna wait on my opponent. Um. Um, 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 Rena, Rana, and Jackson. I'm gonna wait on my opponent here. He's actually gonna go to the Adino. So I don't know if Adino gets a knockoff or not, but I'm actually gonna get out of here. And I'm gonna go out into. 
I'm actually gonna go to my blue flip, because why not? I don't know if it gets knockoff or not, as uh, it doesn't go for the Thunder Wave. All right, so I was gonna go out into my Dusk Noyer, but yeah, I, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know if it got knock, if it gets knockoff or not, because nowadays everybody and their mother gets knockoff. So I may as well head charge, because why not? You know, it does damage. He does reveal the knockoff. Okay, so I was thinking to myself, I'm pretty sure I've seen this guy use knockoff for either that or for it, but both of them can use knockoff. So choice banded head charge does nothing for damage. That's three for the attack. Maybe he's max H max defense. I think I'm thinking he is because that shouldn't that have done a lot more damage. I'm thinking. Doesn't he have like booty highs? But like yeah, he's got like insane high HP. So maybe that may have added on to it. I'm getting flinched at the wazoo though. It's a three KO. Uh, I think at this point he doesn't get soft boy. He's probably gonna go for the wish and bank on me getting paralyzed. Hopefully I'm not going to get paralyzed, but I want to see what he wants to do. Hopefully he goes for another Hyper Voice. Because I can't take two more until he gets like a crit. Which would be mad unfortunate, but I could easily go out into my character and if he wants to go for the Wish. So I kind of have him at this point. I kind of have him in a clutch. I got him hanging by his tongue. You know, I have his tongue in my hands. As he's going to get out of here, go to the Ardos and sack that, I suppose. I guess now he can't get off Sticky Webs. And did he just reveal me in Rocky Helmet? Alright. Okay, I know I don't play this NU tier meta in 6th gen, but I know for a fact that that cannot be a thing. This thing is a frail duck. Look at its stats, man. 70 defense, 60 defense, that's not the best. 70 HP, that's not... No, stop. <sighs> Alright, looking at this, though, the sash has not been broken. Let's go straight back out to you, though, and just Volt Switch. I'm thinking he may want to go back out to it. He does! Alright. So, I'm going to Volt Switch on you. I'm really loving this team. I'm loving Electivire. Electivire does work. Electivire does work. Electivire does some insane work. I'm loving this right now. I'm going to wait on my opponent, though. As he's going to get out of here, go out to the Arbok. Maybe he predicted Wild Charge this time, but I'm not. No. As I now can go out to Mesprit yet again. And I don't want to go. I know Arbok can learn Sucker Punch. I know Arbok is actually strong. In fact, doesn't Arbok have about 100 attack? He's got about 85. Right. So I'm going to go for Sideshock. I know that I can take one. He actually is scarfed. He's a scarfed Arbok. I have never once seen that. I think the only person that's actually used that is Shady uh, against uh, Joey. But otherwise, I don't really think... No, that's not a thing, no. So what I'm going to do is Ice Beam. Because I'm pretty sure I have speed. What the f... Hold up. Wait, 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 89... Okay, I was about to say, yeah, I thought I misread 105. No, special defense. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense, because, you know, that makes sense. Alright, so I'm going to go out and back up to Electivire. The thing is actually a very big problem. I need to break its Sash pronto, because it's a very, very, very big threat. I really just can't handle it. i got to go for the Volt Switch. I have not seen Sash yet. I'm going to go out to Dust Door and then break off with a Shadow Sneak. He could easily go out into the uh, Adino at that point. I'm going to eat up that Spug Buzz. Hopefully he gets no S bit of uh, Special Defense drop, but he does not. As I want to go, honestly, for the Shadow Sneak. I really, really do. I really do. I'm thinking he may probably predict Fire Punch, because then Dustnar typically runs Fire Punch. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Bitch, bitch got Regenerator. God damn it, I forgot that. All right. So he's probably going to go for the goddamn Thunder Wave. I, there's no reason why. Okay, he doesn't. Okay, good. I'm fine with that, as long as Willow hits, and it does not. Thanks. Thanks, Dustnar. You're the real MVP. See, again, there's, I look look at my speed right now, like 126. What is the base? Like what? Base 50? I No reason to actually paralyze at all. I don't see any reason to paralyze absolutely at all whatsoever. As uh, so I'm going to get out of here and go to my Cacturn. He goes for the heal bell, I guess. Uh, what I can do is go for the drain punch on this guy. Pretty sure I outspeed, I think. Cause this guy's like got some booty speed. So pretty sure I outspeed. As he's going to actually predict a swords dance, maybe. And wanted to get something off on me, maybe a quiver. As I sucker punched a bunch of times, so I did not want to, you know, deal with that. As I know this guy's got sucker punch, or not sucker punch, aqua jet with priority, so I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to seed bomb. You also the iron head, and fucking Christ. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's so stupid. No, catch that sucker punch. That's gay as fuck. That's gay as fuck. Flinch me with the iron head. Wow, wow, wow. I, I can't just come out into you now, and I think I just spam wild charge, and I think I win the game. I'm pretty sure that I win the game. Almost positive that I win this game. So let's see. Because Wild Charge 
Uh, from 339 attack, I'm adamant too, so that's gonna kill it off. All right, because I know they, I know they love to run weakness policy and they have like solid rock. So I'm not about that life. As the Adino is here, the Adino is here. I'm gonna wild charge, and I don't think it's a 2 KO. I think it's a 3 KO because Buffalant headbutt, Buff wow headbutt, Buffalant head charge, choice band adamant, it's 3 KO. That makes you think that Electivire can 2 KO from that range. Uh, no, there's no way I believe it. No way, no way. But you got higher attack than Buffalant. Buffalant's got 350, and you have 379. So, so you should be able to take out the Adino. It's literally up to this guy right now to take out the Adino. It literally is, because if I lose my Electivire, I don't have anything to take out the Adino. I really have nothing to take out the Adino, which in fact, it is a 2 hit KO range. That's fine if you knock off, because you just, no. I'm no longer knocked in, knocked in, locked in, knock, knock, who's the Adino? All right, there we go. Bet, Adino who audacity, bet. All right, so I just won this match, and that's gonna be it. I think I'm gonna keep around these around like three battles, depending on how short or long they are. Typically around 15 minutes, and this one is actually 21 minutes. This is probably gonna be the longest one, 15, 20 minutes it'll be. But if you guys are uh, really happy that Showdown is back, please let me know in the comments down below, because I don't know if bringing it back is actually gonna make people happy or not. Because the last time I did it, was uh when my channel revolved around it when wi-fi wasn't really much a thing and then wi-fi became a thing and then i still kind of did it but it wasn't doing as well compared to wi-fi so i want to know if you guys are actually enjoying these showdown lives or not because i like wi-fi live server so let me know if you're enjoying it as well so please 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 that actually be a mean a lot to me i uh, give the video a thumbs up let's try and destroy 400 likes for the first part of this and then make sure to answer the question of the day i know i didn't say it before but it's prob probably it's going to be in the description and everything like that let me know, let me know, let me know. Are you happy to see Showdown back? That's all I'm gonna say. That's, that's basically gonna be the question of the day. Are you happy to see, not even that, no. Are you, do you enjoy Showdown? Like, do you actually play Showdown? Do you enjoy Showdown? Do you religiously play it? Because I know nowadays it's gotten so big that a lot of people like contain around their entire channel. It's the only thing they do now. So let me know if you, uh, if you enjoy Showdown. With that being said, guys, I've talked long enough. I'll catch you all later.